That's the crisis standards of care territory, when hospital staff will have to decide who gets treatment and who doesn't. It's what we're trying to avoid and have been since last spring. Well, the governor was asked today if and when hospitals are expected to reach that threshold. Idaho continues to break its COVID hospitalization numbers weekly, both in regular hospital beds and in the intensive care unit. Leaders at some of Idaho's biggest hospitals have been warning the public that it's not a matter of if, but when that would happen. Dr. Souza and Dr. Nemerson from St. Luke's and St. Al's respectively touched on that issue at last Friday's Central District Health Board meeting. We know is based on the current growth rate. COVID in our communities, at least my systems modeling would suggest that we would be in the throes of severe contingency standards in approximately next time, so by Christmas. And that we, we would expect sometime after the first of the year to potentially be in crisis standards of care. And we're in the same ballpark, um, only, only potentially putting those numbers uh, uh, or those situations uh, perhaps a week earlier. We're running out of um, healthy, well-trained people to be able to provide the care. Well, weeks away, that prediction may very well be off by several weeks. Tomorrow morning, the Department of Health and Welfare Board of Directors will vote on whether to give that power to Director Dave, Je Dave Jepson. It would be a new administrative rule, and if passed, it would mean Jepson could declare Idaho is in crisis standards of care. That means conditions at Idaho hospitals have progressed to catastrophic levels. Our medical capabilities and conditions are to a point where health care systems aren't able to provide their normal standards of care to patients or have to ration care. They get to decide who gets to see a doctor or who even gets into the hospital. In other words, if you have to go to the hospital because you have COVID or you were in a car accident or even if you had a heart attack, the care you get there will not be the same quality of care you would have gotten in the past. A broken bone probably wouldn't even be a priority. At that point, hospitals may be using a scoring system to determine who does receive care and who doesn't. It's something that's typically used only in times of war or after a catastrophic, catastrophic event like a terrorist attack or a hurricane or wildfire. But before you ask if the department actually has the authority to activate those standards, the answer is yes, they can. That authority has been granted by the legislature. And that meeting is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.